So let us begin the April 1st, uh, 2021 Historic Preservation Board meeting at 5.03 on a Thursday. And we do have a quorum. Um, welcome to our uh, applicants. And we'll skip over the uh, approval of the minutes and get right, not hold up the applicants. So our first, um, our first action item is number five, uh, Steve Shiramonte. Am I saying that correctly, Steve? That's 100% correct. Okay. Given your last, given your last name, I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised you got it right. Okay. I learned, but I'm Irish, so I learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've learned a lot in 50 years, but uh, so anyway, um, we're, uh, you are requesting a metal roof on your property at uh, 2040 Penfield Road, correct? Correct. And does everybody have the um, samples and everything that we got online? I'm out of state. I'm in New Jersey at the moment, but I do have all the pictures and your sample colors, et cetera. Um, has anything changed? You're still uh, interested in the uh, Hillcore Craftsman Shake metal roof, correct? That is correct. All right. Do you would you like to explain to the board and anyone you know who that, that hadn't seen it that why you are interested in that particular kind of roof rather than the traditional asbestos roof that you have? Sure. Um, so, you know, our goal is to, uh, you know, honestly, re sort of replicate the, the look of a, of a house that is of, of the age that our house is. Um, and certainly, you know, an asphalt roof is great. Um, and, and uh, you know, what you would see commonly, but um, given, given the age of the house and the likelihood, or, or I mean, we certainly know that it had a shake roof at one time because the, the shake is still there. Um, we, we want to replicate that look um, if, you know, uh, uh, honestly, if it fits into our budget um, and we're still we're still working on that. But, um, you know, doing a, an actual shake roof is, is not terribly feasible um, it, from a cost standpoint and from a um, maintenance issue uh, standpoint as well. So uh, the, the metal shake seems to be a, a, a good way to uh, replicate the look, but take advantage of sort of more modern uh, roofing techniques. Okay. You had said something, I think, in your application about shade and moisture and deterioration. Our, our understanding, yeah, our understanding is that with a traditional shake roof that's wood, um, that the, the shade would prevent the dry, you know, shake when it gets wet, you, you want it to, to dry quickly. Um, and given the amount of shade that we have and the, the, the tree cover that we have of our you know, fairly large number of mature trees, um, it would be problematic to have a um, you know, traditional shake roof. That was, that was based on input that we got from um, a, a roofing company that's uh, in the town of Ontario. Uh -huh. um, and, and, I, and honestly, the, the cost of doing a traditional you know, shake um, in 2021 is, is prohibitive. So, um, you know, at, at this point, it's really either we do what we have now with asphalt, um, and which is again perfectly fine, um, or we we go the the metal shake route. Okay. Um, Mira, do you have any experience with those roofs? Mira, you're muted. Sorry, uh, I've never used them, but I'm reading the. Uh, spec now and it seems like a good product um you know they it has uh right i thought it was interesting that it described it as light you know not as heavy a roof but it's very sturdy because it's metal it's light. right right uh are they right. uh, is there any concern about noise of the rain or uh or wind with those shakes so they're, they're not that i'm aware of um i i'm my my in-laws have a house that's standing seam metal roof which is you know similar material but a different look um mm. really not a noticeable um issue that when it rains um mm -hmm. obviously if you have a hail um it's probably going to be loud but uh, you know we don't hail is not really a terribly common 
thing in, in right. Western New York. Right. Um, mm. And in terms of the weight, um, we, you know, we, we know right now that there are three layers of asphalt and the original shake um, mm. sitting on our structure, which is, um, you know, the house is going to take a big breath when, when that gets pulled off. So we're, we're excited about that. And, um, you know, the roof, we, when we bought the house, we knew the roof was, it's well past its, right. its life. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and it gives you it gives a 50 years warranty. That's much better than any uh, asphalt roof singles. Right? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, at, at age 43, the, the 50 year warranty puts me well into a, a number that I'm <laughs> tough, you know, I, it's tough for me to comprehend. But um, it, it is, it, you know, a metal roof last certainly is going to last longer, um, but it is much more costly. And that's, that's, again, one of the things we're trying to balance now, but we wanted to be sure that when we are ready to, to, to sign a contract with a contractor that we, we have, you know, we have done our due diligence and, and on it, you know, obviously that, that includes coming before you all and, and making, you right. know, getting your, your, your blessing. You but, uh, did I, I understand that you're not sure if you're going to do metal? We're, we're, we are not. Um, it is, it, it, it really is going to come down to cost and our, and our budget. Um, it's, uh, we, we have a, <clears throat> while we don't have a, the roof is not a, um, it, it, it's not a complex roof. We don't have any valleys. It's a, it's from a size standpoint, it is a large roof. It's a lot, that's a lot of roof. Um, but again, we, we are either going to go with asphalt, and I think I, I, I hinted at that in the, um, in, in the application. Right. We, will, we will either replace in kind with what we have today with, 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 a, with a, a black or, or charcoal asphalt, or um, if, if the budget allows, uh, we will go with uh, the metal roof. Right now, we, we think that the asphalt is going to be about $30,000 to replace. Um, and the metal, we've gotten uh, quotes anywhere from low forty thousand to seventy thousand, and, and um, seventy thousand dollars is not in the budget for a roof for us, um, uh, it, no matter how long it might last. Um, but again, we we haven't signed a contract yet, but we can't sign any contract until we've come and, and spoken with you all. So again, wanting to make sure we do that first. I don't have any problem with the shake. I think the appearance is suitable, in my mind. And Great. quality uh, is uh, outstanding. So, um, it, you did send us uh, four uh, different color, five, five color uh, options. Yeah, the the and and that was I think just because of the way the material the the, um, the the materials from the company came, we would do the black. They're they're the the only the. the and we're actually in the process of painting the interior to be all white. I mean, it's a, it's an old farmhouse. Black and white is is the right. the, the way the house should look. Um, all right. So we'll on match. that page, it's the black iron, not the iron stone. No, no. It it, it would be um, well. It's tough to see on the screen. It it would it's it's either whatever's closest to black or charcoal. The color would match what we have today, um, okay. because that matches the shut that matches the shutters. That matches the metal, the you know the the, the metal turn coated roof that we have above our porch. Um, that will remain in kind. We will not be touching that. Um, but the house is, you know, the color scheme of the house is black and white, and that's that's what we always intend to keep. Um, so, as far as your time frame is concerned, you're doing this like this season, this warm season. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we intend to sign a contract this month um, and make that and, and get on, on the schedule with, um, with, with whomever, whatever um, contractor we go with. Um, mm -hmm. If we go asphalt, we, we have a contractor set to go. If we go metal, there, there are a couple, there's some decisions we would have to make. Um, okay. But no, uh, it, it, I, needs, it, needs, it needs to be done this year. Right. I, I'm not pushing you. I'm just, I'm trying to figure right. out the best. Normally, we would have um samples and of specific pro product so i guess jim would we approve either or or would we say put it on hold and say come back when you have decided which one and just show us the color and the samples if if if, if he's if going, going with, with uh, the iron black, black that, that would that be would closest, closest to what he has, he has now. now right the uh, yeah, iron stone looks more of a brownish, brownish type. type. Uh, right. 
Collars. Collars. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure it's fine, except that we have two different products that he wants to use, and he's not sure yet, which I understand why. But can we approve him using either one, or do you want him to come back and say the specific one he decided on before we vote? I'd hate to have to come back. Um, if, if you want to give him the option of both and then let him pick whichever one it is, that's fine. Or if you want to approve it subject to him submitting a color scheme via email that you can look at, that would be fine too, I would think. Okay. Really, it was the question of whether or not you would approve a metal roof. If he were to go in tomorrow and put right. in a, a roof similar in kind to what he has now, we wouldn't even have brought him in for any review or even for a building permit. Mm -hmm. um, he's entitled okay. to put a new roof on. Yeah, so, that's fine. I I was very pleased to get these materials because, like Mira said, I'm not over familiar with uh, this type of metal roof. But it sounds, and you know, Mira's the architect, and the description sounded good to me. So, does anybody else have questions? No, I think I, I could make a motion if you'd like, Joan. Sure, to, go ahead. To uh, approve a, a black colored, either metal uh, or, or or normal roofing, um, with whichever he chooses to do, with the color okay. black. Okay. I'll second. Okay, any further discussion? Okay, um, why don't we call out, uh, I'm I, Tom. Aye. Uh, Mira. Aye. And Mike. Aye. Okay. It's unanimous. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Oh, you're welcome. And then just, you know, let Jim know what, what you decide on. I, I will. And, and Jim's been a great resource. And, and honestly, I, I wanted to at least introduce myself, if nothing else, to, to you all sure. since uh, we've, we've been in the house about eight months now. So yeah, well, um, I appreciate were it. You, were you in Penfield before or are you new to Penfield? We, we moved here from Philadelphia, um, but I'm a, I'm a Fairport native. My wife's an Ontario native. Um, we've oh, been gone okay. about 20 That's years. Nice. Well, welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, uh, it's, it's been a whirlwind, but we're, we're having a good time. Good. All right. Well, just call Jim if you have any questions and we can talk about it. Will do. Thank you so much. Have a great night, guys. You too. Thank you, Steve. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Okay. Um, so, our second, um, as I understand it, we're discussing the proposal for um, the Daisy Flower Mill. Um, for Rock Dog Lounge. And our purpose is to let the the town board know what we think of the project. Correct. 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 That's, and that's right. um, I mean, the paperwork that came with this is very thorough. And we, of course, listened to the proposal last time. But does anybody need a refresher or have questions or? No. But I well, guess I my guess question, question is, is, I'm sorry, go, sorry ahead. go ahead. My question would be, um, uh, Wendy and Valerie indicated uh, the types of uses they'd like to put on the site, which, you know, that's going to be up to the town board. More importantly, um, is the board, is your board comfortable with the proposal for the exterior improvement she's making to the site? Or they are making to the site? Okay. We talked about paint color, right? We, talk about we talked paint about color? paint color. We talked about outdoor dog runs. We talked mm -hmm. about um, improvements to the deck area and, and uh, some garden areas that they propose, although you don't really have to get involved in the actual landscaping mm -hmm. aspect of it. But um, and, I, and I don't know if you want to have Wendy and Valerie go through and explain exactly what they want to do, but it is a pretty good breakdown of what they did in their letter of intent to the board here. So, um, Right, except I, I think... I mean, obviously, every building gets painted at some point. We're not going to know until we know exactly what they want to do with it. Um, dog runs, where would they be, would be my question. Um, you know, how would they look on the property? And um, how many of them, for example? I mean, 
It would just be a small, small, the, the, the feature of this place is the near 5,000 square foot indoor state of the art dog park. We want to add a small dog run mm -hmm. off the end of the building outside to a very small dog park area in the beautiful summertime. It isn't something we would use very much. It would just be, um, we don't have like exact measurements yet, but one small outdoor pen where we might like have a bell goes off while everybody's on the deck having a beer that says, you know, who let the dogs out? And they, they run outside and have some fun outside. And then they go back in and we'd separate it between small dogs and large dogs. But it's just um, a small outdoor dog space. Have you decided okay. what color, what type of fencing you're proposing for? Is it just chain link or is it going to be more of an enclosure? I think we've chain link, chain link is chain what link. we've talked about with the contractor, yeah. Mm. That we might, you know, plant like vines all over. So aesthetically it's beautiful and goes, we want it. We want the outdoor part of Rock Dog Lounge at the Daisy Flower Mill to just melt into uh, Ellison Park. We don't want it to, you know, stand out. We want people to come as though they're just enjoying the park. Okay. What was the paint color that we talked about? White for the exterior with black trim. Okay. Okay. Um, Jim, did we find any more pictures? No, we did not. Okay. Um, have you seen, have you found anything, Wendy, about what it looked like before? The only pictures I could find were in the historic, uh, in the library, and it looks white, but the pictures are black and white, so right, right, <laughs> I'm 100% right. sure that's not right. light gray. Um, <laughs> when Jim and I were talking about it, we have both been in Rochester in Penfield since 1979-80, so our memory, they were just redoing it then, Brown. I don't have a personal, Tom, do you remember, or Mike? No, no. Yeah. I mean, I I don't remember it anything but the Brown, but. Yeah, I don't I either. I leave you with the pictures. I'm just saying, I, I personally, it feels like I've been here a long time, but <laughs> I guess not long enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so how does the board feel about that? Okay. I think I'm fine with the white, the white and black, or black trim on white. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine too. All right. The other suggestion, just for your own, um, uh, you know, information about the property. I, I'm out of town right now. I'm in New Jersey. But um, I was going to call the Landmark Society when I come back because um, they may, you know, they have a library there and there just may be some random picture that would actually, or we could go, who's the oldest person in Penfield, Debbie? Can we go ask them? Well, you know, <laughs> as, a mere, as a mere effect, we're going to talk to Kathy Knauer, the historian, to look, do some research for us on, see what she could find still. Yeah. <laughs> Not that not that she's the only, but she, you know, would do some information for us. So right, Mike was what? trying to think of his, um, uh, like when he was in Rotary, you know, who is still available to ask those questions. There's got to be somebody who can answer that question. <laughs> so are are you looking for a picture of what it looked like way back when? Yeah, we're just curious. I I mean I I can see that we don't object to white. We're just from a historic perspective, we're curious as to when it became the dark color that it is, et cetera. So, and probably you would be too. You would love to have pictures of, you know, what it looked like at one. At yeah, one. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Cause we want to feature some of the news clippings in frames, uh, you know, throughout the place to honor, you know, the changes and the memories. Cause there's some really good stories in the newspaper about when they did the full overhaul and up, you know, uh, refurbishment of the mill to turn it into the restaurant before it was gatherings. There's some really cool stories about that. So we want, okay. yeah, definitely to get copies of, you know, photographic quality copies. I mean, just off the top of my head without seeing a drawing, I don't object to the white and I don't object to a small dog run at the way you describe it, but you know, we still have to look at the, the yeah. uh, pictures in the, when we see it. Um, was I didn't was there anything else? well you wanted some deck work but that didn't seem a small deck some off one of the right well it's already there it's but yeah we had the inspections done on it and like the 
the deck is bowing the main deck off of the ballroom. So we have to get that repaired. And then the foundation underneath that deck is failing with many cracks through it. We'll have to repair that as well, but we don't want to build a new deck. Okay. We just want to repair the two existing to use. All right. Um, does anybody else have any other questions? Well, you did. Was there an open question about some piece of equipment that you had found upstairs that yeah. we talked about? There's, there's one. It looks like an old printing press. It looks like our contractor says it looks like it weighs a couple of tons, <laughs> <laughs> and it is up. It's been hoisted up in the rafters, I, I, like it's aesthetic. We're not sure. Like there is no place to stand around it. It's just kind of like in the rafters it's bizarre so that would be one piece of non it's, it does not look like it could be you know used in any way or plugged in or an energy source brought to it that is one piece we would like to take apart and donate or you know and remove for safety reasons too because it's up in the rafters sure Wendy and Valerie just, could you get a picture of that for us and just send it to me via email when you get a chance yeah we're going there next Thursday to meet with contractors, subcontractors, and all those people. Um, so yeah, I can definitely take a good picture and shoot it over to you. Great. Okay. Would okay. I, would the board Debbie? members would any board members like to get into the building for any reason to see it? Yeah. Debbie has a question. Go ahead, Debbie. I'd like to. Oh, as Jim just mentioned that I'd like to go in and see it. I haven't seen it in years since it was gatherings. But thanks, Joan. I had a question too for Wendy or Valerie, and I know you came to the board and you presented this already to us. But I'm not sure if I got an, um, if I asked this. Those other outbuildings to the left or in the back, because I drove in there actually today. Those uh -huh. are looks like they're being rented. They're, that's no part of this parcel. Correct. This project. Correct. Those are still they sold rented. those off. Yeah, they and sold those off to to renters. Right. I, I, right. So they own that. that that's all. OK. But they are, are they also from, within the historic district. They were part of that property at one time and have been parceled off. But they are subject to historic review as well. Are they aware of your project, uh, the, the, those people? I don't know. We haven't met them. We're not sure, you know, what we should do if we should go just knock on their door. <laughs> the town has notified them of the public okay. hearing on the 7th. OK. Oh, fabulous. OK. Thank you. Okay. Jim, if we get into the building, I wouldn't mind seeing it either. Yeah. Wendy and Valerie, is there a time that uh, you could allow us to go in? If you guys want to come next Thursday, we'll be there at 10 o'clock. Um, you know, we'll be meeting with contractors and subcontractors to talk about the, the large repair issues that they found in the inspections. But if you want to come by at 10 o'clock and wander around, <laughs> we have access to it. We don't own it yet. We're under contract, but um, so we have to, every time we want to get in there, we have to make arrangements with the sellers. Um, so those arrangements have been made. If you want to pop by next Thursday at 10 a.m. That would be great. <clears throat> Anything else? I don't think so. Uh, there's not, um, you're taking notes, but I don't think there's a vote necessary, correct? Well, I, you're going to be sending a recommendation to the town board regarding the issues we just talked about. So I guess there should be a vote to send that on to the board. I just, the point though on the paint, the. the I had the paint, I had the uh, development of the uh, chain link fence dog uh, park area. Mm -hmm. I had the repair of the existing decks. Um, the removal of the old printing press that may be causing a, a loading issue on the second floor, which uh, Wendy had brought up at a previous meeting with you. Okay. And those are the big issues right now, I guess. Okay. I have one question. I forgot one little question. Um, and it's, it's not necessarily for phase one of this um, refurbishment, but one thing that came up in the inspection is those two large um, pine trees that face Blossom Road that are right near, right against almost the, the flour mill. They're huge, two enormous, gosh, I mean, a couple hundred feet tall trees. They're taller than the mill itself. I want, I would, if we wanted to take those down, which it sounds a bit drastic, but for, for worry that it, they might need to come down, would we need to come back to the historic board about that? Um. 
Technically, yes, but I think that's something we could look at with you Great. Thursday if you wanted to, just to see okay. what the issues really are relating to them. Yeah. Great. Okay. And it may not be anything we can afford to do in this first phase of the refurbishment. <laughs> we heard some pretty strong numbers. <laughs> yeah. But if the board's aware of what you're trying to accomplish and why, and it, yeah. it serves to preserve the building, I'm certain that we would look at that positively. But yeah. we'll look at that when we go out on Thursday. Okay. Cool. Great. One, is, one extra question, can I just ask Joan? Sure, go ahead, Debbie. So um, when the um, the decking, that you're gonna keep the same color or is, is, yeah. is the browns? Is the browns? Oh, uh, no, I guess we'd have to go with, I would think it would need, right now the color of the deck off of the ballroom is it's natural composite color. So it's like a beige. Yeah, yeah. That would be yeah. fine. Yeah. Like I, I wouldn't care, like if the guys can, it seemed like it was in such good shape to me. I was surprised about the report, but then when they took certain pictures, you're like, oh yeah, it is Boeing. Um, if they can repair it and keep it composite and keep it that beige, well, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But now the deck off of the basement that comes up, there's like a deck that's closer to Blossom Road. That, um, the paint is chipping. It's the same color as the building. That we would probably want to strip and, and paint white. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You had mentioned uh, in your email or your letter to the board that uh, you're looking to do something in terms of uh, bringing in kayakers, that type of thing off the creek, which is fine. Um, you, I just want to make you aware of the fact that if you're doing any kind of docking facility or anything of that nature, you'd have to go to the state DEC to get an approval to do that. Okay, state DEC? Yep, and I'll give you some information about that. Okay, yeah, I mean, ideally, I, I think there's a tiny little pier there, we want to do a wooden Adirondack chairs along uh, Irondequoit Creek so you can just relax and have a glass of wine while your dog's being a maniac in the dog park. Um, and if, if passers-by or if they're paddling by, they would be, you know, inclined to, to, to come and, you know, tie up and come have a drink. If there's already a dock there, um, it may have been already approved, but you might want to make sure prior to buying that you did so that uh, the, the existing owners take care of that for you. It's kind of a lengthy process. Okay, I'll check on that Thursday. Thank you. Any other questions? Um, would someone like to make a motion with those four items in it, recommending that um, we would consider those projects after reviewing the actual color design, et cetera? I'll make that motion. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, Mike? You're better at it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, I make the motion from those four items that uh, uh, that the board endorses them. Uh, I guess to the to the town board. Okay. Very good. Right. And okay. I'll prepare the uh, the memo for you uh, to review before the the town board uh, has the public hearing on on the seventh. So you get a chance okay. to see it. Um, we have a second. Second. Mike, thank you. Um, any further conversation? Okay. Um, I, Tom. I. Uh, Mike and Aye. Mira. Hi. Okay. Good luck on Thursday. Thank you. If you guys pop by, um, just you know, pop by around 10 a.m. We'll be in there okay. all over the place with many questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she'll have her. Uh, scared grimace face she's the cfo and they will be throwing out a lot of numbers and i'll be like we can do it it's gonna be great <laughs> and then valerie will bring All you right. back to earth yes. yes thank you for coming in again thanks you all appreciate it all right thank you you're welcome bye bye, bye, -bye. If you'd like we could just go down and talk about the hitching post issue very quickly and then get back to the minutes and get that resolved right. Okay. I was really pleased Tim Masterton had uh, sent me that email the other day. Um, it makes me realize that he's got a feeling for what's going on there in terms of the historic value of that area. 
And just to give you some background, uh, prior to, and I think I sent you a, I had sent you a, uh, I'll try and pull it up for you. I had sent you a picture of the uh, post, uh, I gotta share. Yep. Uh, which was out by the road at one time. And then, we, of course, we had to take it off that area because that's where we opened up the parking and built a retaining wall. Uh, and then reset the post up in this area, which you've seen before, mm -hmm. um, which is in close proximity to a parking area where they are plowing snow to, off the parking lot. So Tim's comment was well taken. I, my recommendation would have been, I don't know if we're going to have anybody protect this thing on a long-term basis on that property. If they're not going to and they want to get rid of it, my suggestion would be that we move it to um, Shuffleburger Park and install it in one of the, the garden areas and that way it will be protected on an ongoing basis by the town. And I, I guess I'd like your thoughts on that, that idea because it sounds like they want to get rid of it. And I'm afraid that, um, you know, at some point yeah. in time, it, it will just disappear. I think that it, it, you know, given the circumstances, it would, I mean, it would be better if it stayed on the property, but given the circumstances that it sounds like she doesn't want it, um, but it would have to have some kind of explanation in Chapelberg. Yeah, Park I agree with that. We're, we're going to lose track of where it was. I think it's kind of lost its value to the public uh, being so far off the road. You don't see it anymore as you're going by unless you're really looking for that, uh, that particular issue. But um, I think that we could do a really nice proposal in the, in the park, incorporate it somehow in the park, and then put some kind of a historical perspective to it as, uh, as we did the Daniel Penfield statue. Who, someone bought this this now this property. Yes, this this property was recently bought by a husband and wife. Um, they're doing some improvements to the property internally. Thank God, uh, they're putting new some new gutters on as well. Um, they are in la, in kind gutters. I'm hoping that they're going to paint the the front porch, but I'm suspecting that they probably will. They seem to be wanting to clean it up and make it look nice again. So, um, this and is, it's it's. Uh, I, I know we went through it several years ago. It's what, four apartments? I think there are three in there, if I'm not mistaken. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay. All so, right. And that's, we went up in the turret, right? All, we went all the way to the top, I remember, I think. Yes. Okay. So when they paint, do they have, are they, will they be coming to us then? If, if they're going to change the paint color, they'll have to come to you, yes. Okay. I haven't talked to them about that that issue. As a matter of fact, I have not personally met them yet. I know Tim has had some interaction with them, um, and I suspect that at some point in time I will be in contact with them to see what their intent is for the exterior of the building. And you're, just out of curiosity, they're going to maintain maintain it as apartments? Yes. And it will be all residential? It is rental property, right. Right. Okay. All right. Good to know. So what does anybody else have an opinion about putting it in Schaffelberger Park? I agree. Uh, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. I put a little sign in front of it or somehow keep a right. little history attached to it. I'll work with Kathy Knauer to create something for you to review and then you can make a recommendation uh, to move forward with it with, uh, with Tim and the town board to, to get that put in place. Sounds good. We don't, there's nothing there to vote on, right? You're just going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to find All some right. money. I've got to find some money to do it first. Boy Scout project. Uh, I think we'll let the Boy Scouts do other things. I think, we need, <laughs> I think we need some people that have had some experience doing this. I was going to say that's probably kind of fragile if it's been moved a few times. Um, it was in pretty good shape when we moved it last time. I was actually there when they did it, just to make sure. But um, I just want to make sure the right people are moving it and doing the right things to preserve it as they move it and get it put back in place again. Versus, right, right. You know, I, I don't want to put that kind of burden on the Boy Scouts to yeah. end up breaking. How deep does it go in the ground? Pardon? How deep is it in the ground? Uh, a couple feet, probably at least two really? feet minimum, if I remember correctly. But it could be more than that. It could be thirty inches. Is it stone or concrete? It is stone. And it's got a it's got a ring that's been embedded on the top of it into the stone. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I think we should save it. Yep. Do you want to make a motion? Okay. 
Somebody want to make who? Mira, can you make a motion? Somebody, Mike, Tom. I just, I, I just moved that we, uh, we move the post to the park, and put some type of historical explanation with it. Okay. I second. Mira seconds. Uh, all in favor. Aye. 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 Truthfully, I think it'll look better in the park. Here, people just go by it, don't right. even know don't it's even there. Know what it is. Right. It, it's kind of it's, obscured now because it's not so close to the road anymore. Hey, right. Don, were you here for the last vote for the... Um... I was not. Okay. Thanks. But you are for this one. I don't know. Do kids still know what a horse is? I mean, can they... <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Um, so we can go back to the approval of the minutes from February 4th. Okay, does anybody have any corrections, comments? No. No. Perfect, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> um, a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Mike, all yep. in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Going out. All right. And then what else we got here? We don't have any held items. I did have one little. Do you have anything else, Jim? I don't. Okay. Just, just wondering though, what, one... which board members would like to go on that that tour of the Daisy Flower Mill on Thursday, and which ones can't. Next uh, I would like to, but I can't. I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I would. I like can't to do it either. Okay. I, I probably can. I don't have right now. Don't have anything going on Thursday. All right. If, if I'm not sure, Jim. When if, I'm. If you can, in. just let me know, and I'll, I'll then I'll know who's going to be there and who isn't. That's okay. Not a problem. Okay. I understand people are busy, and it is short notice, so it's not an issue. Okay. Um. I'll, I'll, I'd like to come, Jim. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> Joan, anything else? Well, I just have one small question. Um, Mike and I took a walk on the trail, um, oh, I don't know, 10 days ago um, at uh, the Clark House. Yes. And are, are you aware that the one gutter in the front is detached from the downspout? Oh, yeah. I'm very well aware of it. Uh, the board, believe me, the board, town board, has been discussing this matter now and, and actually has been moving forward with getting improvements to that building done fairly soon. Uh, I know Tony LaFound has had several bids looked at, and uh, they are extravagant, I will say. But uh, there is a movement afoot to start working on uh, three or four aspects of that building to get it back in shape and make sure that it's properly drained and properly secured. So you may start seeing some things happening here uh, later this spring or in early summer to get that thing going. Hey. And we, we did also meet again this morning with the uh, gentleman who's interested in leasing the property from the town. He is still 100% supportive of doing that, and um, he'll be working with us to get his his work done on the internal portions of the building as well. Can you refresh my memory about which? There's been a few people that were. Interested. This gentleman's name is Mar Mark Mansfield. He is the owner of um, the Irish Mafia was... Brewing Company, and he's, his brothers own uh, some wineries along um, Seneca Lake. So they're they're very much invested in the business. But he has been staying with us all through the COVID issue, and uh, he cer certainly wants Good. to get into that building. That's great. Hey, Jim, I should also, I'm sorry, Joan. No, go ahead, Debbie. Fine. Hey, Joan, I was going to add, I'm in that park too as well, just about every day. And Jim, mm -hmm. I was going to just add to thank, um, there was a couple windows in that in the Clark House that were just um, uh, with wood or something or cardboard on them it's on the, on like the west side of the building yes yes yeah they'll and be I repaired believe, i want to thank you yeah jim crackman did a nice job and put some glass in there and so yeah I, I, we are we are all aware to thank you um you know jim for in the board that's extensively we've been talking about it and how in the disrepair that it's in so we do know we have to do something right. here as 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 soon as we can okay all right Anything else? Okay. Um, our next meeting, Jim, is what day? May 6th. May 6th. Okay. All I right. anticipate that we will have meetings uh, uh, 
on a regular basis now. There's a lot of activity picking up now because people are getting out doing some things with their property. We've had more applications in March than we had all of last year. So it's been a busy, uh, busy month. Um, the other thing I want to talk to you about is uh, we're having some conflicts with uh, the number of people that have to be uh, put on cable TV through the Zoom process. And PCTV, I know they're listening. We've been talking about the possibility of changing some nights up, and I don't know what your thoughts are on that, but I'm wondering if you'd be amenable to looking at other nights other than Thursday, if that's a possibility. Uh, and I think that we'd like to keep these in the afternoon still for a period of time, if we could. Um, if we can keep them in the afternoon, possibly we'd be able to keep them on Thursday. Um, but if not, we might have to go to another night if we go back to 7 o'clock at night. Uh, and I'd like to know what you think about that. I'm open to anything. Yeah, I think I'm open too, Jim. Can you tell us what the options would be? Uh, right now, the options would most probably be either Monday or Tuesday nights. I cannot do Wednesday night. Either. Yeah, well, I can't either. There's a town board meeting that night, and so either can Debbie. So those are locked out. Thursdays and, are a problem, and Fridays those, we would not do. So Are those for the night at 7 o'clock or 5 o'clock? Um, actually, we could probably do uh, 5 o'clock for the foreseeable future uh, or the unforeseeable future uh, at this point in time. We're probably always going to be on TV at this point in time now. So it's just a matter of what's convenient for the board to get together and to be able to meet on a sustained basis. Um, my only other restriction would be once a month, approximately on Monday, I have another board meeting at 5 o'clock. Is it like the first or second or third Monday of the month? Or? It, it vacillates, but no, it's more like the third or the fourth. So if you stayed on the first, we would probably first week we would, pro I would probably be okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, think think about it for the next few days, and uh, we can talk about solidifying a, a time and a date for you on a sustained basis and get it locked in. Okay. And Jim, I wanted to thank you. You, I got. I'm. I don't know how many other people did, but I got the um, renewed uh, subscription to the uh, National Preservation Magazine. That was my next question. Does everybody receive their card? Yes. Excellent. I have not. Okay. I I don't think I have. Um, I haven't. I've got to call back to them because Kathy Kanauer had not received hers, and I know that she was part of the application for it. So I got my. Yeah, I just but mine just came. I want to say like four or five days ago. Yeah, so. it's been very recently that they came in. Uh, I just received mine last week as well. So I will check into that for you just to make sure. And um, as I say, I've got to take care of Kathy's as well. So we'll we'll get that well, resolved. Thank you for, for you. doing that. You're I, very I mean, welcome. I, I do look, learn a lot from just even just browsing through it, you yeah. know, what's going on elsewhere. Absolutely. And now I, I know I, about metal shaker shingles. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. Ask. Yes. That, that, that those people that are interested in the Clark House, they, they're into the wine business and all that stuff. Their family they is. Great, uh, he's he's primarily focused on there? beer. He's, on, he's in focused on beer. But on he's beer? really looking okay. to create a wedding venue there. He wants to... Uh, he wants to make it a wedding venue. You still have a restaurant there, um, and he will be brewing beer on the site, but he really is focusing on a wedding venue for that property. Oh, okay. Okay, it gets a lot of use, I think. You know, walkers and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty busy over there. Yeah. I mean, a lot of di and different, you know, different age groups of people. I mean, people using it for in just walking or with dogs or with taking kids for what I mean, maybe that'll slow down a little now that COVID's not, you know. We're starting to get a lot of interest in uh, in the use of the park. We have somebody coming into the town board, I believe, their next work session to talk about uh, Frisbee golf, uh, which which was part of the plan for the site. Uh, there's a big following for that. And the board did meet last week with uh, Mr. Froome, who's interested in developing uh, pickleball courts on the north end of the property up by Atlantic Avenue. Yeah, nice. Um, did there still frisbee golf at um, Ellison Park? Yes. That's the group that's actually looking at this, I believe. Okay. All right. Great. We done? 
We all finished. Mike, you got your, you move. want to make your motion? I do my motion. I move to adjourn. <laughs> Did we all second it? No, who seconds it? <laughs> Tom, second it. Okay. Okay. I second. I thought you didn't have to second no, the you motion. No, you don't. Mike, <laughs> Mike just makes the motion and that's enough. Uh, all right. I thought maybe Tom wanted to stay for a while. No. <laughs> this is going to be my reputation for the future. Future. Motion to adjourn, Mr. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> yeah. Be on your headstone, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you all for attending. All I right. hope everybody right. has a thank great Easter. Thank you very Easter. much. We'll thank see you, you soon. See you next month. Good night. Take care. Right. Good, Good night. night.